Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to be showing you a new feature you'll find in AviCAD 2020 called 3D Construction Line. Now, 3D Construction Line is really in the 2D draw menu, uh, so don't get confused about that. So it can position itself uh, using your UCS uh, controls. So let me show you how that works. Well, let's go into the 2D draw menu. And here you'll find the uh, construction line option. Come down here. We'll choose this uh, third one down. We'll place a point anywhere on our plan. This is going to be where our pipe comes down this way, makes a 90 degree turn, and then goes this way, and then goes up. But what we're missing is the starting point and where this intersection is. So let's define that. So what we're going to do is copy this over. We'll select it and type copy. Give it a base point, And then type in 10 feet. Same thing goes with this. Let's copy this. And we'll go over, let's say, 8 feet for this one. Now at this point, it's going to want to go up. So in order to do that, we're going to have to rotate this UCS, the X, to where the Z is. Now the way the construction line works, it always works on that X axis for horizontal lines. Um, so we want that X pointing up. So in order to do that, we type in UCS, and then Y, and then minus 90. Doing so positions that just the way we want it. Now we can select horizontal and select the intersection here. So now we can come up, let's copy this up, six feet. Now let's go ahead and check our entity snap settings. We can do that by right clicking on this, choosing this. Make sure this intersection is turned on. Let's load up our MetQ piping. Make sure the 3D is selected, 8 inches, butt welded, and we're selecting the straight piece here. Now we can simply snap over our construction lines. So we have the beginning here, second point. Now we're not going to see any pipe at this point. It's going to come in on our third point here. So there's our elbow and our straight piece. And then we're going to come up that six foot mark, if you remember right, up to this point. And then to finish, we press enter. So there's our piping run here. Now the nice thing about these construction lines is they can easily be turned off. So if we go down here, we can go down to the bottom here and just say clear all and that gets rid of all of them. Um, so you can do that anywhere in the process. Let's go ahead and uh, plot this because I wanted to show you one more feature um, in uh, 2020 uh, that will come in handy. Um, so if we type plot, you'll notice there's this print silhouette of 3D models which is toggled on. What this does is it cleans out some of the unnecessary lines in your uh, hidden model. So in a sense, it declutters your, um, your plot. In order for this to work, though, we have to go up into View here. Or we can select View here. Select Visual Styles. And then choose Hidden. Now if we look at this hidden image of this model, you can see there's quite a few things going on as far as the the way that it's hidden this uh, elbow for example and there's a lot of lines. So if you were to plot this out you get a black shape here. So what this new feature does is it removes a lot of these unwanted lines. I'll show you how that works. So as long as we're in the um, hidden view here we can go to plot and select the uh, window option here, kind of zoom out, put a window around this. Make sure this print silhouette is still turned on. And when we preview it, you'll see that a lot of those lines have been removed for us. 
it creates a much cleaner plot. For those of you that are on earlier versions of uh, AbbeyCAD, uh, make sure to inquire how to upgrade to 2020. And we'll talk to you in the next video. Have a great one.